There we go. Got it. Well, welcome everyone. We're so excited to tonight to share with you, as you can see the topic, it, it is something that is really going to boost your business. It's going to make a big difference. And it's probably one of the number one requests that we get as leaders is people want to know how to effectively work with a new consultant when they do get one. In fact, that's one of the things that really holds people back from sponsoring sometimes. So tonight we actually have our, our very own beloved EMBP Dina Wilkinson training on this subject. And Dina, um, I want you to know that she has been absolutely crazy busy over the top because being the world traveler that she is and the great adventurer, she and Richard are heading out tomorrow, yes, I said tomorrow, to go to Australia and New Zealand, where she intends to shore up her Australian team, help them, and build, build, build in New Zealand for her team. So um, I am so proud to be able to introduce her tonight. And we had another speaker who was scheduled for tonight and she had a death in her family. Her mother-in-law passed away and actually part of the celebration of life is today and tonight and um, yesterday and today. And so she was unable to do it at the last minute. And um, I was scrambling, called my faithful friend and said, wow, we need to think of who would be, um, who, who could do it in such short notice and um, have a, a topic that is meaningful that would make a big difference for everyone. And uh, anyway, so we were both thinking, thinking, and Dina called me back and said, you know what? I can do it. And I, that's the kind of leader she is. That's the kind of person she is. And, I'm, and if I gave you the list of everything she's been doing, you would just say impossible, impossible. But she says possible, possible. And I just love her for that. Um, she has been in Arbonne. She's a, vig a visionary, um, a trailblazer, a pioneer, <clears throat> and uh, has been in Arbonne for 28 years. And having known and worked with her from the beginning of her career, I will say that she, uh, when she makes up her mind to do something, it happens. And I'll never ever forget as an RVP who'd been there too long in her mind, in one of our meetings, she marched back and forth at the back of the room saying, uh, who's going to be an MVP? I am, I am. And within probably three months she had accomplished it, which meant increasing her volume by more than 30,000 in her central. So that's pretty amazing. Um, she is also the recipient of the Spirit of Arbonne Award. Um, she's a top income earner. She, um, she's a sought out trainer. She's requested to train by um, <clears throat> not just her own success line but others as well um, she's an international business builder she was so brave that she went to australia and um, went went there lived there for i think five or five months four or five months maybe six months um, to get her team started there and she didn't she had one, I know one referral, but I'm not sure if she had any more than that. Um, she is one of the few ENVPs who sleeps with a regional vice president. Yes, her husband, Richard, you're proud of him too. And what a great partner he is and all that he does for um, our businesses. And she has three sons, they love Arbonne, they support her, and um, you know, and they are the reason that she originally joined Arbonne so that she could be a mom and really be present with them. And so tonight you're gonna learn from one of the best, 
on how to conduct a successful mentoring call with a new consultant. And I want you also to mark on your calendars, no, no training call next Monday. It's a Memorial Day. Both of us are traveling. And um, so we would really like to give you all a little break and then come back, finish, use that to really finish out the month and then come back and be ready to rock and roll with June. So EMVP, Dina Wilkinson. Thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thanks for the awesome introduction. And you know, I have been, I had no voice for uh, over a week, so I'm hoping that my voice holds out tonight. So we're, I'm very excited to share with you, you know, uh, there's so many awesome people in Arbonne and one of them um, is Wendy Cunningham. She was an MVP in Arbonne. And she really has spurred on a lot of the things that we've been doing. Um, and some of the things that I'm going to share with you tonight are, you know, originated with her. And they're, we are finding them so successful that I wanted to share some of the ideas that, that she has. And I'm going to just take myself off and let you just look at the slides tonight. But I want to share with you. Now, you know, when you start a new consultant, the, the time that you have the most influence over a new consultant is truly is before they sign their application and within that first 48 hours to 72 hours. So you need to make the most of that, that time. So when you work with a new consultant, you want to introduce them and, you know, when you think about it um, in real estate, we, it's all about location, location, of location. But if I was to ask you, what is it in, in network marketing? Hopefully you'd say duplication, duplication, duplication. Because if it doesn't duplicate, you're not going to go into momentum. What I'm going to show you tonight is how you can really get yourself into momentum very, very quickly with your team. So what we're going to talk about tonight is how to do that. Because one of the most powerful things that you can do is to, to create duplication is to do a three-way Zoom call with to welcome in your new consultant. So that's why I've called it tonight a mentoring or a coaching call. And there's really two parts to it, but there's five steps to the two parts. And so the first part is, who, who should conduct the call? Well, you want to put your new business partner in front of someone who is really working the business. If you have a really strong area manager who's, who's moving towards regional vice president, then put them in front of, um, front of them um, or your regional vice president. And it keeps saying that my internet connection is unstable. And I am so hoping that, that you guys are all hearing me well. So the, what type of call should, should this be? Well, I like to do a Zoom call. I prefer Zoom because you can see them. You're, you're in your um, office, your kitchen, your um, living room. They're the same. You can just see people all over the world and connect face-to-face -face with them. And the step three, at what point do you do the call with your new consultant? Well, really, you want it as, as fast as possible, but really, it is after they place their business order. And you want them to put in a qualifying order. So what would a qualifying order look like? This is where I'm going to be very, um, very strong and very firm with you guys tonight. You need to give your new consultants the best possible um, possibility, I should say, of being successful. And if you don't have them come in with the tools that they need by having the products that they need to go out and do their business, you're not setting them up for success. Your job is to set your new consultant up for success. Now, when uh, just think about when Gordon Fraser who opened up um, the UK. When he came in, he decided he needed to move his business very quickly. 
and he was doing the results system of doing it, um, introducing the business through a gold bag. So he bought 14 RE9 sets in gold bags so he could get it out there as fast as possible and get it get introduced it introduced to 14 people that he wanted to bring in to be on his um, business partners as fast as possible. He thought if I only have three or four, how long is it going to take me to work through that number of people? Um, have you know get put out three, wait for them to have try the product, have them come back, clean them up, turn around, get them back out. You know, that would be a long process. That's why he bought 14. So if you don't have the uh, new consultant have the products that they need to go out and do um, spa fitness bas baskets and be able to do presentations, if you don't have enough products in their hand, they're going to get off to um, not a strong start. That's why the lowest level that they can possibly come with, in with and even go out and be able to do their business is a thousand QV. Um, we highly recommend that they come in with a 2500 QV. Middle of the pack in between is about 7, 1750 QV. So you need to have what your new consultant, um, you need to tell them what you highly recommend so that they can get off to a strong start. So you want to get to know them and even if some, your new consultant has told you all about them before you have your Zoom call with them, you want to hear it. You want to hear about them in their own words because you're going to be able to pick up on things that um, you'll, you'll just go, wow, that's interesting what I'm hearing them say to my um, area manager or my regional vice president because they're going to be good at asking questions. So you want to find out, tell me about yourself. Are you married? Do you have kids? Do you work? Do you like your job or do you love your job? Do you plan on retiring there? You know, and why do you say yes to Arbod? So those are the questions you want to be asking your new consultant. So your area manager is going to ask them that question. Those questions, I should say. And so what are you listening well, you're listening to find out what is really going on in their life. You know, what, what do they like about the current situation? What don't they like about their current situation? And there's, you know, a couple of questions that really help you um, dig down to bedrock. What made you say yes to the business other than a product? Now, this question is super important because this is what, what they're going to use for their why statement, their I statement, when they do their friends and family launch, and anytime they do a business chat or a presentation. So you want to find out. It's great that they love the product, but you want to find out what the reason was that they decided to do the business. So you want to find out what intrigued you about this business opportunity. So you're going to be hearing things like, well, you know, I really, I love the idea that I can be my own boss. I love the idea that I could, have, you know, exit and fire my boss at work. I love the fact that I could um, have more um, time balance, more balance in my life. You're going to hear things that are going to make a big difference. So here's some of the things that are some sample questions to get them talking. What made you say yes other than the product? What is your best case scenario with this business? So if everything just happened perfectly a year from now, what would your life look like? What would be the best case scenario with this with your art on business? And where do you see yourself once one year from now? or five years from now if this business is a huge success? And what would you like to see different in your life? Now, these are all going to help them really figure out why they're doing the business and what do they want to have happen 
and change in their life because they're doing ARBA. So do you have a date in mind for when you would like to have these changes? Do you have a date in mind when you want to pay out that credit card? Do you have a date in mind when you want to leave that job? Do you have a date in mind when you want to start your family? You want them to come up with a date. A lot of times if they won't, they give you a date like five years from now, that's too ambiguous and you have a hard time working with that. So you want to make sure you help them figure out, you want that sooner or later? Do you want that to happen soon so you could actually own your life again? You're going to use the information that they're telling you to help them develop their vision. Because you have to remember that you're the vision holders for your team. You hold the vision for them. You help them develop. You help them to get, help it to get bigger. That's why I want my consultants to put their new business builders in front of me because I can develop the vision. So you want to, um, you know, get them to develop that. And the reason that we're asking you these questions, the reasons I'm asking you these questions, Kylie, is because we want to develop and your why, and we want to all get on the same page. And that is the reason we're, I'm asking you these questions. And you're fleshing out their goals to see if this could be their real why. Because sometimes people are afraid to verbalize what it is they truly want. But when you sit there and flush it out with them, a lot of times a woman especially, um, a woman will start to cry. They'll get tears in their eyes because you know you've, you've hit bedrock with them. You found out that there's nothing more important in their life than what they just told you. But from this, you're going to create a strategy and a game plan. And your job is to set the correct expectation. They said they want to make 10000 a month, but they can only do the business five to 10 hours a week. Ugh. That's probably not a great, you know, those two expectations and the what they're willing to sacrifice are not driving. Because you need to let them know that there are sacrifices that are going to need to be made. I gave up golf and I gave up skiing because I, for a while, because I knew that I needed to really, I really needed to dig down and just get into concentration with my Arbonne business. So ask them, you know, what are what things are really, really your priority? And then you say, okay, what sacrifice are you willing to make to make that happen? You know, are you willing to not watch every housewife show, every, every voice show? Um, what are you willing to give up right now to have what you really, really want? So your Arbonne business, you know, I always tell people that, you know, you're, you are your own boss. And the problem with that is that you're going to, you can be the nicest boss you've ever had. And that, you, so that's what's scary about it. It's the easiest thing to put on the back burner. So, I, I, you know, I need you to know some things. I need you to know that you're going to face some discouragement, some frustration. Sometimes when you're going to, I remember Ann Cullum calling me and saying, Dina, now do people really like this product? Because she had some no's in a row one day. And so there's going to be times when you're going to want to quit. Absolutely. But I want you to know that people overestimate what they can be, do or be making in one year and really underestimate a lot of times what they can do in five years. So this is like the four-year career, which is a wonderful book to have new people read because it's like going back to school to get a degree, but they're getting their degree in their own network marketing business. So I want to reinforce their vision with the power of their why. I want to reinforce their expectations, so their expectations are correct because we've got their, their why, their goal, and their vision. 
So say all of those are going to happen, but I also want you to fight through those moments so we can get you home or so we can pay off your debt. So we can, you can exit, have an exit strategy out of your corporate job. What it is that's important to them. Because if it was important enough for you to have said yes to this business, because let's face it, I know you were already busy. I know you already had figured out how to fill up your 24 hours a day. So to, in order to put something else in your life, you've got to treat it with that kind of importance. So we can move you forward to your goal. So here's the wrap up. The wrap up is that you're going to ask questions to help uncover their why. You're going to help them determine what goals they have for themselves. And then you're going to turn their why and their goals into a vision for their future. You're going to help them know what to expect. It's not going to be easy. You can't just sit back and it doesn't just happen on its own. There's going to be obstacles, hard times, and they're going to need to make some sacrifices and helping them determine what they're willing to give up right now when they're the most excited about their business before they've started it is really important. And then to let them know that it's going to be worth it in the end. So now, here's part two. Now is the how to. So how are they going to get themselves out there and really get their business going. Uh, I love what Wendy Cunningham tells them to do. She says, write down 10 things you can't have in your life unless you are successful with our boss. Now, this, these are phrased differently. I love it because it makes you, I know Ed Lundberg always says we run faster away from what the hell instead of going, uh, running towards the heaven. So what are the things you can't have in your life unless you're successful with our boss? Well, I can't have a new home. I, we can't vacation. We can't travel. We can't get out of debt. Help them figure out, write down those 10 things you can't have. Having them do it right then is really important so that they've got that done when they go home. Because they're going to go home and they're just going to start to be dream stealers. They're, they're going to be stealing their dream. Telling them, what are you doing that for? You've got to be kidding. You're doing one of those things? So you've got to give them some examples based on their why and their, and their what their goals are. So what would be some of those? And help them to start to get that list going. And then you need to, um, you know, it's really absolutely vital that you do both, both the, you know, the why and the how to, because you cannot do one without the other. And what is it that I'm talking about? Well, you know, there's two things, two parts of our business. There is how we educate people about the product and how we educate people about the business. They're absolutely vital. But what people do, unless you really help them lead with the business, their fallback position is going to be to fall back on the, on the product. And their business will go so much faster. You heard Sue Cassidy talk about the other night that we have two um, products, and our very best product is the business opportunity. So she leads with the, the business and then um, shares the product with them. So that's exactly what we're going to teach them how to do. We're going to reassure them that we have a getting started, you know, activity system that's going to help them be able to share the product. But, and that works to help them schedule their activity, but the most important thing that we're going to do right now is we're going to focus on sharing the business because a lot of times our new consultants are more uncomfortable. They feel like they shouldn't share the business opportunity until they're successful. I remember when I started coaching um, Kathy Lutz, 
you know, one of our top EMVPs, she had 150 people in her district that were like a um, wholesale consultant level. And I said to her, Kathy, we have 150 people that buy the product all the time. Have you told anybody about the business opportunity? And she said, no, I can't because I'm not successful yet. Well, this is where we let them know that right now you don't have a story. You're just starting out your business. So you're going to use my story. You're going to use your regional or national vice president's story until you have one of your own. And we are going to help you start to build your team. We're going to start you helping you build right now your business partners. We're putting together your executive vice president team right now. And how are we going to do that? Well, I'm going to help them start identifying people they want as business partners. If you don't know what you want, then you're never going to get it. So they have to start thinking about who would I like to have as my business partners? What kind of qualities do I want? What am I looking for? So, you know, they better realize that um, this is one of the things that you can do for them is to help them realize that what they have is a gift. I loved it um, when um, I was a brand new area manager. I flew out to California and I got to meet with one of the top um, direct seller um, consultants in our industry at that time. And she had started a company called Discovery Toys. And she was the founding director of that. So she had sponsored hundreds and hundreds of, con of consultants into that company. And I said to her, how have you done that, Pat? That just blows my mind. And she said, I always just sat there and thought about how incredibly blessed I was that I got to own my own life because of this incredible gift I had been given of network marketing and how much it behooved me to share the gift with everybody. So just like in the Asian culture, when you, you give a gift to somebody, you, you reach out to them with this gift. Now, whether they choose to accept it is their choice. And that's what she helped instill in me, that what we have is such a gift. So just because I want you to realize that everyone you know has a need for more time or money or both. I don't care who they are. If they're making an incredible income, you know what? They are, they have golden handcuffs to that income, but they don't have time balance. For so many people, they don't have time balance. So you want them to understand that really that they need to be able to share this with everybody because they do, people need more money or more time. And the very reason you decided to do the business is the reason others would too. And we stand in their way because we are scared because of what they may think of us. So what I want them to do right now is to come up with 20 people that we are going to message immediately. They're not going to leave the call. Um, they're not going to leave our Zoom call until we have figured out the 20 people and how they're going to message them, what they're going to say, what they're going to do, what's their strategy with each, each person. If you can take the time to really do this with new consultants, I promise you, your success ratio will go through the roof because new people don't know what to say. So this is what you're going to help them do. I want you to help them, help them think of, think of immediately, have them think about uh, who do you know? Think of one to three people right now who desperately want to be home with their kids. Who do you know who desperately wants to be home with their kids? 
Who do you know who want to get out of their job? You know, talking to my son the last few months, he has desperately wanted to get out of his job. Who do you know who has a financial need right now? Well, everybody I know that's in their 30s, they want to buy that next house. They have that two kids and they need a bigger house. So they have a financial need right now. Successful people, like I mentioned, can be locked in because of their income. So I want them to go through and identify people in each of these categories. Who wants to be home? Who wants out of their job? Who has a financial need right now? Who's making a lot of money but has no life? So I, I want them to identify these people and then I want them to think of who would you just love to work with day in and day out? Who would you just love to be as you have as your business partner? So we're going to come up with 20 people that they're going to message immediately. And how are we going to do it? Well, and I want them to also know that there isn't an income that they can't, that cannot be replaced with our body. So, we're going to reach out with the four-point ask. And the first, the first point of the four-point ask is to have a, um, an icebreaker. And an icebreaker is um, something that's kind of um, lets them know that, gosh, this is so out of blue, this is so random, this could be the strangest message you're going to get today. But, you, you know, you've just been on my mind, and I just had to reach out. And you want to let them know that, you know, that you have a totally random question for them. And then what you're going to put in, right here, normally you put in your why. And so you want to put in your why, and you want to say, you know, I have, as you know, my husband and I have said, we want to have a baby so bad. But I'm, you know, I'm a surgical nurse. I'm working like crazy hours. And I thought the only way I'm going to be able to have, stay home with my baby is if I figure out a way to replace my income because we're really dependent on it. So when I, um, it was like a match made in heaven, uh, made in heaven when I, um, started using Arbonne's products and realized, wow, I love these so much. I'm going to make a business out of this. And I came on with Arbonne. And what's exciting for me right now is Arbonne has entered a rapidly growing segment in our industry, and that's the skincare tools industry. It's a, a billion dollar industry right now, but Good experts are saying it's going to go to 1.6 billion in the next couple of years. Well, we have just launched something that is so incredible. It's this ultrasound device, and it's literally ironing out wrinkles. And so I had to just reach out to you because I know we've both been into neither one of us want to age. We want to look as young as we can for as long as we can. And so I had to just share with you some unbelievable pictures. So right then, you're going to stick the pictures inside of your text or your um, Facebook message, messenger message, and you're going to stick pictures in for them to look at. And then, then your, your message is going to go on, and it's going to say, look at the results with only one use. Are you open? Would you, um, can, I, um, can I buy you a cup of coffee? and just tell you more about what I'm up to. I don't I know if it's going to capture your imagination or not, but it'd mean the world to me if you gave it a look. So you're going to use your why, and then you're going to put in the buzz statement about what is happening right now with our bond. We have a new skincare tool that has cutting edge ultrasound technology, and when we combine it with our anti-aging clinical products, it is just kicking butt. 
we cannot believe what's going on is that this new category is going to just catapult our company. So I would just love it if um, I would love to send you some information. I'd love to have meet you for coffee. So whatever it is, if they're local, you want to get in front of their people. You want to help your new consultant bring in their business partners. So if it's local, you want to be able to meet with them. If it's long distance, you're going to do a Zoom call with you, your new consultant, and your upline. And they're going to help you bring in your new people's, um, your new person's business partners. So this is the step two of the four-point ask. Step three is saying, the reason I thought of you is because you're just this most street savvy um, babe I know. You know, if it's, you know I, I, if it's somebody I know well, I like to make it very casual. And so I just had to show this to you because I knew you'd want to know about it because it is such the bomb. And so I wanted to um, run it past you because I just admire you and respect you. So then you're going to find out if they would be willing to meet with you. So that's your four-point ask. You're going to go your icebreaker. You're going to go to your why. And why is the time right now to give our one a look? Then you're going to ask, tell them that you thought of them because, and what is that sincere compliment or knowledge of their why? You might know that they're, they're good friends with you, and you may know that they're looking for a new job, or they would love to fire their boss, or they'd love to figure out a way to be able to have a baby right now if they can afford it. So if I, if I, um, bought you a cup of coffee, could we sit down and chat and just see if this might be something that um, would be of a benefit to you and your family? Or if I, um, if I sent you some information, would you take a look? So this is where you have this opportunity to really jumpstart that new consultant's business. So here are the wrap-up. Here's the wrap-up of what we've, what we've just done, the second part of our mentoring call. You are going to help them figure out the 10 things that they cannot have if they don't make a success with their Arbonne business. You're going to help them identify the 20 people. You're going to help them with those 20 people figure out what they're going to say is their icebreaker, what are they going to say is the compliment they're going to pay, the sincere thing they're going to say to their prospect, and if they're going to meet, ask them to meet them locally for a cup of coffee or long distance um, for a Zoom call, or are they going to send them in some information, one of our, our videos. Then you're going to let them know, you're going to say, hey, are you feeling just a little tiny bit overwhelmed? Because if you aren't, then you're amazing. Because anytime we start something new, we feel overwhelmed, don't we? Because it's a change, and we're not comfortable yet with it. But I want you to know that, yes, this is fun. You can do it, and we're going to help you. And that I'm going to check in with you in a couple of days. So you're going to set a time right then before they leave that Zoom call. They're going to start messaging out their 20 people. You're going to make sure that this gets done. You're going to help your new people by getting into their contacts with them. And you're going to help them start sponsoring immediately and help them find. Because what, what are we looking for? We want five business chats within the first seven days. We want to help them bring in their business partners because this is the area that people always, always, they, you know, they skip and they go towards the product. How many of you are launching people right now and you're not doing this stuff? 
you're falling back to that product position because it's safer. This is where you want to go if you want to help your new consultant get into momentum and you get into momentum. So any questions or anything, I'm going to um, open it up for um, questions right now if anybody has any questions. Any any questions or any chat? And I'm hoping you guys are all hearing me or I'm hoping I'm just not talking by myself since my internet has been saying it's going in and out all night. It's been scaring me. So hopefully I've been able to hear you. Me. <laughs> I've, I've been able to hear you all night. Okay, good. Because it, that's been scaring me because it keeps coming up and saying your internet connection is weak. So I'm hoping, let's see what we have. We have, let me, uh, Click on the chat here. Um, how do you handle, there's one. Okay, how do you handle it when a new consultant simply can't or won't make a $1,500 investment? Well, <clears throat> here's the thing. This is what I've learned the hard way over and over again. Is a lot of times I would say, oh, that's right, we can just use my product. And, you know, we can do some, you know, get some presentation scheduled. And they had no skin in the game. I love what Richard Brooks, one of the top, top, top people in our industry says. He said, I will not work with someone who doesn't have skin in the game. Because there's nothing, you know, they don't, there's nothing in it for them to work hard if they haven't put anything as, in it as an investment. You're the one that's investing your time. And they they don't have any investment. So when I wouldn't put in, ask them to really go ahead and um, put in that investment, I'd end up seeing them walking out of Nordstrom with all kinds of bags they'd been shopping. Or I'd find out that the very next weekend, they just decided at the spur of the moment to fly to Las Vegas. So they could figure out the um, money to go on a shopping spree or go on an impromptu trip but they couldn't figure out how to come in. They just wanted me to let them use my products. So what, what you want to ask them is knowing how important this is to you, knowing how important this is to you, Kayla, and that you said you really wanted to be able to come home with your kids and, be, and really be able to be home and be in their lives. And knowing that you need these products to get your business um, really get it off and get it running. Um, and because you said you wanted to make this happen fast, where could you go to get the money to get your business started? You know, one of the things you do, if you will ask them for the solution instead of you giving them the solutions, they're going to own it. Then they're going to say, well, I guess I could put it on a credit card. Or I could go, and I, 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 bet I probably could go ask my mom or my dad um, if they would give me the money. That's where you need to go. Do not wimp out and just say, okay, you want to really talk to them about how serious they are about this and if this is something that they really want because they're going to need the tools. You know, if they don't have the product to put together spa baskets, then they're waiting in between each time. Um, they're waiting between the next time someone will host a presentation for them. So they're like a they're like a prisoner waiting for someone to let them out of jail um, at the next presentation. So they don't have anybody working for them. But when they have placed three I mean, RE nine sets, three totes, or three spa baskets, they've got people. They've got employees out working for them. So I'm just very adamant about that one. I'm really adamant about that. So I, that's what I would, would say to them. Is ask them the question, where could you go to get the money to start your business? So let's see. Um, there's any other questions? I find it takes a while to help a new consultant come up with their uh, list of 20. Is it okay to take a big block of time with them on this since we want them to do it right then and there on the call? 
Well, you know, it's um, you could you could go offline at that point from your area manager or your regional vice president, and you could really help them figure out those 20 names. Here's the deal. I find if you just don't start that, a lot of times that part doesn't get done. And that is the most important part, is to help them come up and find business partners. Because if those people say no, to the business, then the fallback position that is saying, that's okay. I knew it wouldn't be for everyone, but I, I, I still need to be able to practice my presentation. You think you could get a few friends together and we can have a little uh, get together. Great. If not, then your fallback position is, could I drop by a spa basket to you? So no matter what, if you get those 20 names going, you're going to have activity out of it, and you're going to have business partners. So I would, as much as as fast as you can, get a block of time together with them to get that going, Katie. Awesome. Well, it looks like that's all the questions. So what I, I'm going to challenge you to do is with your the next new consultant you sponsor, I want you to schedule a mentoring call with your upline, your strong area manager um, or your regional vice president to help you cast and create the vision for your new consultant and helping them get going um, in a successful way with their business by helping them find their business partners. So that's my challenge to you tonight is I want you to, to build your team. I want you to go back and look at your list and the 20 people you're gonna contact, jumpstart your own business, and then once you sponsor them, schedule that mentoring call with your upline. Thanks you guys for joining me, appreciate you all. Fantastic training, Dina, great job. And, and you know, you can do this, you can go back to someone and say, I didn't really launch you the way I wanted to or you deserve. I would love to um, sit down with you and let's go through and make this happen for you again or this time. You know, so this is fantastic. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thanks, everybody. Have a great rest of the evening. Good night.